Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So we're in Star Citizen again and I'm going to be showing you a few different ships. I've currently got, well I have three but technically I have four because it seems to have given me a Hornet for some reason which is nice. Anyway the main thing I'm going to be showing you is that big ship far off in the distance there which is my Freelancer. It's basically Serenity from Firefly which I'm excited about. And now, one thing about the hangar is, um, as you can quite obviously see, there are one or two little lighting glitches, but also um, there's no anti-aliasing. Then, oh yes, one other thing as well. Um, uh, yeah, I've got a new hangar. This is the business hangar, which is a step up from the basic one that I started with. So that's nice. I actually don't like the deluxe hangar at all. I prefer the business one, so I'm happy that I get to use that. First of all, let's have a look at the Aurora. This is the basic ship that you'll get in the game. I think I'm going to be gifting this to one of my uh, one of my IRL friends soon enough so that he can get some of the Star Citizen action. Anyway, it has a usable bed because this game is very in-universe and sticking with its own fiction and stuff. And uh, you get a nice little look out at the stars in your bed, which honestly is pretty nifty. So let's get up. And uh, not sleep, because sleeping isn't particularly fun. Animations are really not 100% done at the minute. You know, there's some clipping issues and stuff like that. But, yeah, it's all cool. Um, I suppose I may as well just sit in the pilot seat for you. Yeah, we'll do that. I'll spin that round. Actually, no, we won't spin it around. We will make our way around it. So I've been flying this a little bit in the Arena Commander thingy. And I've got to say, it's it's really cool how the ships in this game all feel different. Um, I love the flight models so far. It definitely has work to be done, but I prefer it over the sort of ships in space way that other games do it. Like, this fully simulates your thrusters and stuff. I love having to think about those various things when I pilot my ship. And I just find it to have a lot more depth. I mean, there's a lot of complaining at the minute. People basically just want, at, like, full-on atmospheric flight but in space, which makes no sense, and I think cuts out a lot of depth. Basically, you can Battlestar Galactica around the place in your ship, which is great. You can, like, you know, you can decouple your thrusters and do 180s and lots of cool stuff. So here is my 325 interdictor. This, um, this has been updated, actually. The outside is, well, different. It did not look like this previously. It was more black. This time it's got red on it, and you can see the detail a little bit more, so that's nice. And this is my first time having a look inside. As you can see, big ship, nice and sleek. Let's get in, just to uh, get rid of camera issues. We will go into first person. Alright, so it seems like lighting is actually a little bit better than the last time I got in it. There's more detail around things. That's looking nice and plush. Um, of course, none of the graphics or anything like that are finished currently. Um, there's certainly a great deal of work to be done, but... Really, it's, it's nice the way they've done this with um, the Arena Commander module being launched. I'm very happy with it so far. And I've been having a ton of fun, so it's all good. Another thing that they've done is they finally smoothened the controls of all of your, um, like your, uh, things. Steering, I'm, I don't want to say steering wheel, because it's not a steering wheel. It's, it's something else. It's probably got a real name, but whatever the hell it is. They've smoothed into the animation, which is nice because the previous one was kind of terrible. Anyway, so that's uh, that's our 300 I ha looked at. Not a great deal of cargo space in this one. Pretty much no cargo space in the Aurora, though I think there's a version of it which adds a big cargo block at the back. But speaking of cargo space, I think we have something that will fit the bill quite well. This is my Freelancer. Now, this is actually not the cargo variant. Um, can I close these doors? I don't know if I can. Um, yeah, this isn't the cargo variant, this is actually the exploration variant. It's got 25% less cargo space, but it's got a better jump drive, better engines, and things like that. So, if we run around the outside, you can see it's... It, it Like, it's a space truck. It's kind of like Serenity from Firefly. It's got these big guns on it, which I like, because they're bloody big guns, and that's cool and stuff, and I like things that shoot. It's also got missiles, which is cool. This cannot be flown yet, um, unfortunately, so... I think they'll be working on that in the next version of the Alpha. Let's climb our way in. Now, uh, the first thing, actually, I should probably just close all these doors or... Yeah. I'll close these till I give you the vanilla experience of being inside this ship. Alright, so here we are in the cabin. First of all, lighting not done yet. So that's a thing. Um, especially, like, you can really notice the unfinishedness of the lighting here. You've got seats for crew members currently. Oh, wait, no, can you sit in that one? Yep, you can seem to be able to sit in all of them. I'd imagine there will be functions here because this is a ship 
that can be flown by multiple people, so maybe these guys can be, I'd imagine, controlling those side turrets that we saw earlier. Anyway, here's the pilot and co-pilot seats. Let's get our way into them. A little bit of clipping there, but that's fine. So what they've done is they actually changed the uh, the window of this. It used to have pillars in it, which made it a little bit harder to see. Um, but they've now fixed that, so there are no annoying pillars. And once again, we have a nice smooth animation for that. Let's get out of um, out of this and have a look at the back and some other things. So here are our beds. These work because hey, this is all in fiction, which is nice. I wonder what happens if your character, like if you for some reason put your character in a bed and then someone does a boarding action against your ship, they just shoot you in your sleep. Probably isn't nice. Yeah. Still, I like the attention to detail. I like the way there's little flavor things in there, like beds, and they kind of like they've thought of things. This is a ship, sure, it's got its pilot seats and stuff. It's also got beds. It's also got a shower. Um, and, you know, all the things that one needs in their ship. It's got, like, a little wash basin. And things like that. So, it's cool. Um, now, let's move our way through this. This would appear to be the airlock. And here's our cargo space. As you can see, it's quite a bit bigger than the previous ship. Um, a lot bigger than that, anyway. So... Definitely nice to see all that cargo space. I'm falling off the ramp. Um, apparently, I th like I think you can actually fly an Aurora, which is the smallest ship. You can actually fly one of these sort of in here a little bit. Um, you kind of have to jam it in. Now, they are the ships that I own. This is a Hornet. This just appeared in my hangar whenever I got the Freelancer. I'm guessing that because the Freelancer can't be flown yet, they just give Freelancer owners one of these to play about with in Arena Commander. So that's cool. I'll let you inside it. Um, it's got big guns, which is nice. We like big guns, and it's essentially a fighter jet. And because of that, it's not going to have as many of the little amenities that the other ships have. Really, the other ships seem to be designed to be lived in and taken on longer-range excursions. However, with this... Well, this is just designed to kill shit in. Which I appreciate. I like killing shit in my ship. Alright, so let's... Yep, click all our buttons and check out the new... Oh, there's the Arena Commander interface. Um, as you can see, that's... Oh, that's nice and smooth. All these little things around the ship. And... Yeah, so... All in all, with Freelancer... Or not Freelancer, I'm... Uh, I get confused, because Freelancer was Chris Roberts' previous game. I have a ship called Freelancer. It's all getting confusing and stuff like that. Um, yeah, which is... Which is stuff. I haven't shown you a Hornet yet. Um, but... I actually may leave that to another video. The reason why is because I need to get this out by 4 p.m. today. It's currently like 3 something. So if I'm going to have enough time to render this and do all that, then I don't want to miss my schedule. So maybe you'll, well, you will see a, like a big, maybe 30 minute combat video on this ship later on. Um, there's other things to show you in the hangar though. So let's sort of step our way off here. Eventually, slowly, but surely. There we go. So... Here are the other two variants. Uh, this is the Origin 300i. I've got the 325i. Um, this is just a training ship. This is the one they give you for Arena Commander so that you're... I don't know. They haven't got, like, the other variants of ships in. So they just give you a base Aurora and a base one of these to fly around in. I think the inside's the exact same. I'll just, go like, travel up to see if they have indeed changed anything since the last patch. Though I'm pretty sure there's, like, um, at least in the training Aurora, there are some tech... Yeah, like, lightning here isn't finished and things like that. Still, I think it's looking cool. Now, I do still have things to show you, so... Let's move onwards. Can I... There we go. I'll show you the third person. The actual running animations and stuff are really well. I'm still not 100% convinced by how some of them tie together, but... It's all motion captured off an actual person running, and it looks convincing enough. I'm sure that stuff will all be polished up. So, I've got a fish tank. This just appeared in my hangar the last time I I went in my hangar. So, yeah, there's a fish tank. That's... <laughs> that's a thing. There's this, which also appeared in my hangar. And there's this. I'm guessing you can buy other clothes and things. I, I don't care about that. And um, most... Like, all this stuff will be purchasable in Universe with Money. It's just whenever you pledge to help the development, they give... You Whoa. Oh, yeah, this is this thing. Whenever you pledge to help out development, they give you stuff, like little perks to play around with and whatever. Honestly, the main reason I chipped in money for this is because I really want to see this game come out and I want to 
be in the alphas and betas and show people different ships. So from a content creator's perspective, it's a little bit different. This is actually a horrific interface. So here we can have a look at our ship, all the different mounts. If we drag this over to weapons, I could take weapons off and do things like that. This is an ammo box. I'm guessing that's just for my, uh, my gun here. Yeah, whatever. Look, this is a terrible, terrible interface. I think it's awful. It's just, it's not very usable, which sucks. So, that's annoying. Another cool thing, actually. Did I just drag off my ball turret? I hope I didn't do that. Um. Oh, dear. What is this? Let's see. Utilizes something and is a solid choice for roar pilots operating in tough environments. Is this some sort of, like, power plant or something? Yeah, it is a power plant. So, there's lots of little addition thingies. Whatever. Let's just run away from that. It's cool the way it appears, though, and then you just hit a button to activate the mouse, but still, it's not a very good interface. Here is the legendary helmet, which we can hopefully press a button to put on, maybe. Yep. And, uh, boom, you can put your helmet on, and it kind of glitches out a bit. But it looks pretty cool as far as helmets go. I'll try to spin around with the camera here and let you see it. Yeah. Maybe uh, you got a... <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous. Maybe you got a glimpse in there. Now, there is one more thing to show you, and it's going to involve a little bit of a jog, because... Well, this hanger is pretty big. It really is kind of big, so... I need to get our way to the other side. Having a buggy would be handy, but that's a completely superfluous thing that I really couldn't give a crap about. Yeah, you're able to fire some of your guns in this, which is cool. I'm really happy with the Freelancer, though. I like it. My first playthrough of this game will actually be completely vanilla, though I won't be using any pledge ships because I still want to get the raw experience of things. Though I'd imagine there will be plenty of upgrades to get beyond this thing. So, yeah, that'll be cool. I love space games. Um, you know, I really enjoyed Freelancer and various others, and I've craved that experience for so long, and it's nice that finally this and Elite Dangerous are going to be coming out and giving us that. It's just great to see. It's been too damn long, and it's just annoying how publishers completely abandon space games when they're like my favorite kind of game, pretty much. So, let's uh, let's go use this. This is a gun. Testing majigger. Uh, no, that's just another weapon thingy. Uh, there is a way to- yeah, you just sit in this thing. Uh, I'm not too sure what the actual use for this will be, but perhaps- Actually, yeah, I'd imagine if there's a multi-person ship that has a gun turret on it, well, you'll have your pilot going around, but you'll probably also have someone uh, messing around in one of these. So, yeah, you can shoot things, they die, makes a lot of noise, and yeah, that's that. So, I think that's really about it for the things that I can show you in the in the hangar. I will record a combat video thingy in the Hornet, because I haven't shown that to people yet, it's just... If I did that, this video would be 37 minutes long, it wouldn't be up in time today, and it would all be a little bit of a failure. What's this? Shoes. Right. Okay, the shoes can go away. Let's double check. Oh. Oh, what are you? You're an elevator. What? Oh, okay, this is taking a- what? I... Hey! Hey, I was- hey, what are you doing? This thing's crazy. What? There's an upstairs! I never knew this! Holy shit, this is awesome! We can see things from a different angle! It's like it's like a whole new game! Not really, but wow, it's this is a this is a long corridor, actually. This is a very long corridor, but damn it, we are going to have the endurance to make it. We can do it. Look at me go. I like this running animation actually. I think it it feels natural enough. Just a little bit more mocap and things like that will be will be good. Still, like compared to some other games, it it does look pretty human. Looks like a person running, albeit just like running in the same posture for maybe an unnaturally long amount of time. Like you couldn't run in the exact same posture constantly for a long, you know, for ages. Um, so maybe if they were just to record a few different run cycles and then slightly just change between them so that it looks a bit more natural, then I think that might work. Still, this game's looking great. The graphical fidelity is still insane. And there, there's actually a lot more that they can push in terms of the fidelity. They just haven't really got into this build yet. And that's just some of the stuff that I've heard the devs talk about. So it's de- oh, can I go in here? No. 
Um, so it's going to be nice to see that stuff come out. Like right now, anti-aliasing isn't really a thing, so getting rid of those jaggies will be lovely. Can we... Can we get in, please? Ah, we can. Well, hey, that's... I mean, that's useless, but it's kind of cool, I suppose. And out we go again. Oh yes, here's a towel. They gave this to us for some reason. I'm not sure why, but it's a United Earth Empire towel. Um, very useful. It seems to be something I can use, but I'm hitting F and nothing's going on. Um, yeah, I think that is it. We have just about exhausted the hangar. Unless we can get in here. Maybe. Come on. Ah, we can't. Yep, anyway, that's a quick look at Star Citizen. Stay tuned to the channel in the next few days. I'll give you a big, long dogfighting video, and that'll be fun. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.